Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back. Problem four dash one. The statement of problem is that the A nine ninety two steel rod is subjected to the load shown as below. If the cross sectional area of rod is sixty millimeter square, determine the displacement of B N and A. Neglect the size of coupling B C and D. So you can see this is this is three rods A B B C and C D. They are joined together at by coupling at point C and D. The loading is shown on this rod clear, and the rod is A nine ninety two steel rod. So you have to find the displacement of point B and A. So we will first write given data in given data. It is given that. This is A nine ninety two steel rod, so we will check it modulus of elasticity because E is not given. So we have to go to the book and at the end of book we have average mechanical property of engineering materials. So you can see you have to search it. You can see A nine ninety two is available over here. So modulus of elasticity is two hundred giga pascal. So you have to note this value, the value of E. So E is equal to two hundred giga pascal. So two hundred into ten to the power nine pascal. Clear. The length of C D is shown zero point seven five. The length of B C is one point five zero, and the length of A B is zero point five zero. So you have to find the displacement of point A, which is displacement of point B, and the second part is displacement of point A. So let's start with the solution. As we know that elongation or displacement is equal to P L divided by A E, while the element is subjected to tensile loading or compression loading so change in length or displacement is equal to pl divided by ae so we will find displacement in of point b and a so for that we will need first the axial loading at the end of point d so if you remove this coupling so there will be a reaction force which is equal to pcd so we have to find this how you will find this the all the loadings are given so by applying the equilibrium condition that sum of forces along y direction must be equal to 0 so you can find pcd so let's let's apply it so the first loading is pcd which is upward taken as positive the second loading is 8 kN which is acting downward so it will be minus that there are loadings That is 3.30 on both side and 2 kilonewton is given. So we have to take its vertical component. So what will be its vertical component? Its one component will be like this, and the second component will be like this. Clear? Okay. So how we will find the vertical component of this? So you can see this angle is 60. So this angle will be 30. Either you can use 30 degree or 60 degree. So you can find this. Vertical component. So I will find the vertical component of this. This will be equal to if you take sine of 60 degree. So it will be equal to this component divided by three. Let this component is y, for example. So y divided by this value, which is 3.30. So y will be equal to 3.30 sine of 60 degree. Clear. The same thing will be here. So I will write minus two times because two, two, one force is over here, another is here. So two time three point three zero into uh, sine of sixty. Sine of Sixty degree. The other force is two kilonewton, 
that is given over here we will also find its vertical component so how we will find first you have to find this angle clear so if you take sine of theta let this angle is theta this angle is theta so theta will be equal to uh, sine of theta will be equal to 3 over 5 clear and again theta will if you can calculate it theta will be equal to 48.59 degree now this vertical component can also be found by taking sine of this 48.59 degree which will be equal to vertical component divided by 2 vertical component let this is V vertical component so V divided by 2 and we will get V is equal to 2 into sine of 48.59 degree so I will write it there are two forces so this will also minus 2 times 2 into sine of 48.59 degree their sum must be equal to 0 so it means that PCD minus 8 and this will give you uh, minus 2 into this 3.30 into sine of 60 will give you 2.85 and when I will write 2 into 2.85 minus 2 into this value will give you uh, 1.5 2 into sine of 48.5 their sum must be equal to 0 so again when you calculate it PCD will be equal to 16.71 kilo Newton now we have find out this PCD clear we will now find the loading in rod BC for that we will cut it over here I will draw it uh, and choose another color so you can see this is the rod BC some portion this is coupling and this is rod AB and at AB the load is given as 8 kilo Newton at coupling this is point B at this point B there is 2 kilo Newton and there is a 2 kilo Newton we, as we have cut it at this point so here we do not know the load so this load will be equal to PBC again PBC can be find out by using the equation sum of all forces along y direction is equal to 0 now there is upward force PBC so I will write PBC minus this 8 kilo Newton clear minus 2 times you know this 2 the vertical component of this is again mentioned over here so it will be minus 2 times 1.5 I will explain it a little bit the vertical component will be this one clear we have done it over here and this will be equal to 2 into sine of 48.59 which is 1.5 so their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you can get the value of PBC and PBC will be equal to 11 kilo Newton this is for this portion of rod BC now for rod AB if you cut it over here so it will be like this this rod will be like this so this at the end of this this is 8 kilo Newton and since this is rod AB so it will be equal to PAB and PAB will be equal to only 8 kilo Newton now we have the forces in each rod full force in rod a b c d p c d is required if you cut at at point b we need b force p b c and at a b we if we cut we need force p a b and all these three forces are available now we will apply uh, our uh, main formula 
which is equal to elongation is equal to P L divided by A E or change in length when subjected to axial forces. So if there are more than one rod, so we will apply summation equation. Now in first part we have been asked to find the uh, elongation or position of point B. Clear? So this point B. So again we will need this uh, PCD force and PBC because there will be elongation in this rod and there will be elongation in this rod. So some of uh, them will give you position of point B. So this is equal to uh, position of point B. Uh, determine the displacement of point B and A. So for point B, if I reduce it further, you can see that for point B, first we will need the elongation or displacement of this rod clear and the length of this rod is, I will do it over here so that you can easily pick. So change in B is equal to change in rod of CD plus BC, clear? So CD is equal to load in CD is equal to PCD which is equal to 16.71. So 16.71 length of this rod is 0 0.75 area is given as uh, area of this rod is 60 millimeter square so you have to convert it into meters so 60 into 10 raised to power minus 6 will convert it into square meter and E which is 200 into 10 raised to power 9 Pascal clear this is the change in length or uh, displacement of CD clear now we will move toward BC plus the load in BC is equal to 11 kilo Newton so 11 into 10 raised to power 3 is not given so the unit will be in kilo Newton length is 1.50 clear and you have to divide it by area which is 600 into 10 raised to power minus 6 into E, 200 into 10 raised to power 9 Newton. Again, there is 16.7, this is kilo Newton, so I have multiplied it with 10 raised to power 3, and again here 11 kilo Newton, so multiply by 10 raised to power 3. So when you solve it, you will get the displacement of point B is equal to 0 0.00234 meter or it will be equal to 2.34 millimeter. This is the displacement of point B of the rod. Now we will find the displacement of point A. So displacement of point A is equal to displacement up till point B plus displacement of point A due to this load 8 kilo Newton. So 8 into 10 raised to power 3 length of this rod is 0 0.5 divided by area is equal to 600 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by E which is equal to 200 into 10 to the power 9. So when you calculate it you will get the displacement of point A is equal to 0 0.00267 meter or it is equal to 26.7 millimeter. So these are the displacement of point B and A. I hope you have a clear understanding of such type of problem related to axial loading. Thank you for watching.